Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox, you're watching Show of the Week, I'm Andy. And I'm Mike. This week I was thinking how it's an outrage that we don't have our own YouTube original show. Oh. So I've been coming up with a few pitches for YouTube. The first one is called Scare Andy. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty similar to one they already had with the... Was that ent entertaining? It's probably not the word I'd use. Alright, take five. <laughs> is that Luke? What are you doing? You can't just cram zombies into something and expect it to be entertaining. Oh really, Andy? Well, tell that to Rainbow Six Siege. Why would I tell that to Rainbow Six Siege? Wait. Oh my god. No, don't touch him. Uh... You remember Rainbow Six Siege is a, was a thing like about two years ago. Yeah, Still a thing, apparently. Okay. Still well, people I, playing I, it. I saw um, they just had the like World Series of it. Right. Yeah, on, there's a World uh, Series of it. On um, Twitch. And at this Invitational, they, they sort of demonstrated the first gameplay of uh, Outbreak, which is this new co-op mode. Dr. McIntosh is holed up in the serology lab, but external comms just went dark. See, you know how it never had a single player mode? Yeah, and you we know were expecting it never it, had zombies in it. Yeah, yeah, we were expecting a gritty, realistic, terrorism-based shooter. Yeah. It's a zombie game. <laughs> that's okay. what they. That's what they've made. They've turned sure. it into a zombie game. Are they uh, terrorist zombies? No, nope. no, regular? they're they're zombies who they are, have no political agenda. It's it, zombies. They come from a virus that was in a Soviet capsule that fell to Earth. So, I Typical. guess, very, very, very <laughs> small Cold War vibe. Sure. Um, but yeah, right. it's a, it's a B-movie, zombie B-movie, basically. Damn. Cold War zombies. Mm. But it looks good. It looks really, really good. Okay, why? Um, well, it's a proper, it's got its own levels. It's a proper sort of co-op focused uh, game mode, new enemies. And it basically takes all the things that were good about Rainbow Six Siege, which is like destructible cover, like mm -hmm. really good tactical shooting, interesting operators, uh, and kind of bundles it into a, a sort of co-op focused experience. Okay. So. <laughs> Outbreak is part of this thing called Operation Chimera, which is this new patch which comes with two operators. And, and Outbreak mode is an absolutely free element of that. That is okay. free to anyone who owns Rainbow Six Siege. Cool. So you don't need to you know, rack up in-game uh, money or pay for this co-op element. Okay, so is it like it's wa waves of zombies and you have to like hold them off? No, or, it's more uh, like a, a sort of a proper story mode with objectives and things uh, like okay. that. So uh, in the first level, you'll be kind of dropped into an area where you've got to go and rescue a doctor who's kind of holed up somewhere. Uh, so you have to fight your way to the doctor and kind of then fortify the room that she's in and, and defend against waves of zombies and then exfiltrate her out of the out of the room. You made it. Good. Now help me recover my research so we can get the hell out of here. So it's a proper story-based thing, yeah. which is why it's the weirdest thing that this is not described as just DLC, it's an event and it's going to run for four weeks. And oh, and then, then they're going to stop it? Yes. It's just not going to be there anymore. Right. And you look at this thing and you look at the amount of work that has gone into making it happen, all the new yeah. enemies, the new levels, all that stuff, and you're, you're like, this is a bit strange. I mean, is it going to be one of those things where it runs for four weeks and then about four weeks later they're like, okay, you can play it again. You can play it again, yeah, um, we were just joking it, about the thing. But <laughs> money, please. Money, money please. Money. Um, but maybe it's like a. Um, it, it's going to be like a season of these things. Maybe. So yeah. they have a zombie thing, and then they could do like um, something else, mm. like based on another movie genre. I know vampires. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> you always pitch for vampires. Just saying, it could be vampires. We can't add vampires to every single game. But it could be vampires. What if it was vampires? If it's vampires, I'll give you a fiver. <laughs> okay. They should be a vampire operator, actually. That'd be good. Yeah. It could be called Drac. <laughs> um, I haven't got they all the are name. all super obvious names. The yes. guy with the sledgehammer is called Sledge. Yeah. Tell so, me about the new operators. Okay, so they? there's two new operators as yeah. part of Operation Time Era. There's okay. Finca, Finca, who is a kind Finca. of medical type uh, character. Um, but her thing is as, almost like a, a sort of adrenaline buff. So it buffs everyone's health temporarily by 20 HP and also buffs their reload speeds, makes them resistant to stun grenades and things like that. So it's kind of a, a very much a support character. We're now up to guess how many operators are in Rainbow Six Siege? Uh, 11,000. Okay, you guessed high there. <laughs> I was going to blow your mind with, with 36. Oh, 36. But that's still no, a that big is, number. That is still good. Um, so anyway, these two are added to that. The other one is called Lion. He's a French dude. Is he a lion? No, he's not a um, lion. He's not no. even Lion from Virtua Fighter 2, who was a French dude called Lion. I don't make it a habit to fight the elderly. That would be amazing if they just, like, set a lion into the house <laughs> full, of, 
baddies. It and probably then would still get blown up by nitro cells back like in. we did uh, every single time we played that yeah, game. Yeah, I think we have a clip. He was in the kitchen all oh, along. Wait. I can hear nitro. Go back, go back, go oh, back. Oh, oh, oh God, oh no, no, oh. You could hear nitro. There we go, lovely nitro cells. Gotta love those Everyone nitro cells. Those. At least you don't have to worry about those in Outbreak. All right, but what, sorry, what is Lion, what does he do? So Lion's thing is this sort of drone that he can use three times. Uh, Having a drone doesn't make you a... Well, everyone's operative. got the little... James has got a drone. <laughs> James. Maybe James is an operative. Yeah, yeah, you're both a lion and an operative. <laughs> those yeah. are the two prerequisites. Um, yeah, uh, it, but this thing allows you to see the outlines of enemies. And in war a hack. normal game, that's kind of, yeah, war hack's useful in a normal game. In Rainbow Six Siege, the walls are like destructible. So you can actually headshot people through walls using that war hack. So Sounds both okay. pretty cool operators can be used in um, Outbreak, but also in multiplayer or terrorist hunt or whatever modes you fancy if you want to go for that. Okay, so we're talking fast zombies here. We're talking the running. Yeah, there's a variety. There's ones who can actually break through the walls, which is kind of exciting for a zombie game. Um, oh, it's like you're lining up a headshot on something behind it, and then it smashes through the wall. Yeah, they, they'll actually. Like Nemesis from Resident Evil. Yeah, it's terrifying. <gasps> Uh, and then there's kind of general grunts, which are quite slow and kind of, um, you know, ponderous. And then there's a, there's a sort of few other varieties. There's ones that kind of rush you. So it's a proper, they've added a proper sort of suite of different zombie types. And the levels look really, really cool. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a whole DLC that's apparently being dished out for free, but only for four weeks. Only for four weeks. Yeah. And if you miss it, that's it. Maybe you'll have to pay for it. I don't yeah. know. Tengu refrags and Goga finishes off that smoke. C4 from below! And NVK with the follow-up, BC with the finisher! And Evil Geniuses will take the first round! It turns out Rainbow Six Siege is still serious business. There are people playing online. I sort of feel guilty that I haven't still been playing it because it's really good. Yeah, I mean, it, it was sort of clear to me playing it that I was like, oh yeah, this is this is really good. Mm. And But to play it at a high level, yeah. I would have to devote all my time yeah. to it. But it turns out there are people who have been yeah. doing that. And there's a sort of esports thing happening, which is it, it, sort of news to me. Um, but I went back and played a little bit of Terrace Hunt and it's really good, really, really fun. And has a lot of that original kind of Rainbow Six Vegas vibe that, that I really enjoyed. Yeah, so. I've always enjoyed uh, enjoyed it when I have played it. And this mm. sounds, I think we should definitely play this one. It sounds yeah. like, also like the sort of amount of stuff that I could play and finish and then be like, all right, that's, I can now go back to having a normal life and yes. not playing Rainbow Six all the time. Yeah, it seems like yeah. it's a sort of contained sort of mini yeah. campaign essentially that we Which can good. probably complete. I mean, we had a great time last time we played it as well. I say really? that, we, yeah, there's that yacht that we, we got overexcited by the destructible submarine things and yeah. we're kind of vaulting back and forth. And then I think the last terrorist came and just shot us. Check out these yeah. like, scuba things. I can just like vault through right. them. Oh wow, they're made of like ceramic. Yeah, maybe you have different memories of enjoying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well I was the one friendly firing everyone rather than the one yeah, being friendly firing. Yeah, didn't you shoot the terrorist through Jane? I think so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Ah! Oh god, there's a guy behind us! There's a guy behind us, there's a guy behind us. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Sorry, <laughs> I shot you in the knee. Also, Mike <laughs> shot me in the back. In the knee? Wow. Well, it's a tactic. You know, it it's is a tactic. tactic. Those bombers were a pain. Yeah. Right? Just kind of, you'd hear them breathing and then all of a sudden they'd be rushing you. No, Bomber no! Shoot him in the legs! Shoot him in the legs! No! Oh. 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 You got bombed oh, to bits. No. That's gonna be the worst. How do you, who applies for that job in the terrorist organization? <laughs> yeah, go on then. I'll, I mean, it's a cool suit, you know, yeah. don't get me wrong, but. Um, but it says here, um, position name Bomber? Is yeah. That, what, does that, what does that mean? And it says limited time contract. Uh, yeah. Not a permanent position. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not. A very <laughs> yeah, you're not expecting me to to explode. Oh boy, I suggest getting onto the roof. By the okay, way. that's oh, fine. Yeah, good. Of... Wow, go. he went up. I've got a bird eye view. How many operatives did you say that they added? They're operators? on 36. They've 36. said they're going to add between 50 and 100 by the end. How are they the going to come up with 100 different? All right, you can think up a new operator now. Well, they're already running out of names. Yeah. Um, so it, he would be called um, Bob. Uh, Bob! And, yeah, no need. Well, unless, okay, his, his, right. You, tell me what he does, and it needs to relate to that name. He's buoyant, so nice. he can float around on bodies of water. That's excellent. There must be bodies of water in the uh, yeah. in the Rainbow Six games. Yeah, I like that. Really, that's good. Really that one back. Uh, my one is called uh, Green Grocer. Right. And he fires um, fruit and vegetables out of a gun. Right. And what tactical advantage is it like banana skins that people Yeah, slip exactly. On? They slip on the banana skins, they'll be like pelted with cherries and fall backwards out of the oh, window. And they could fire a watermelon because whenever anyone's playing a first person shooter, they can't resist shooting the watermelon. 
yeah. and you can come in and shoot. And yeah, they all get drawn to it like yeah. the uh, pipe bomb in Left 4 Dead. Exactly. And then you just gun everyone in the back. Call so, out Ubisoft. Yeah, so we'll be playing as uh, Bob and Greengrocer in the upcoming uh, DLC. Watch out for us there. And there are zombies everywhere and you've got to use all six of your rainbows to defeat them. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Ah, okay, well, good. I mean, at least it'll be a challenge having a horde of zombies come after you, not like those dumb terrorist enemies from the main game. Really? You found Rainbow Six Siege easy? Yeah, that's right, Mike. As long as you have no further questions or follow-up challenges. Jane, challenge it's time it. for your challenge of the week. Oh, no. Pretty straightforward on this one. Yep. Uh, you just need to win a terrorist hunt on lone wolf mode. So okay. No, no friends. Okay. But, uh, no you can friends. Choose your... Um, Load out and head in there. So you're going to be Sledge, the guy with I'm the Sledge I'm going to be Sledge. Hammer. Nice. Um, Why would you be anyone but Sledge? Yeah. Where do you want to start? I'm going to start. So this is Hereford. Yeah. I know it well. Oh, I'm going to start Hereford. in the car park. Nice. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hey, you've driven here. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't walk, Andy. I got dropped off. Nice. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, okay. Thanks, Pick Mom. me up in 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you after. So right, she's gonna just gonna stay behind this nice wall. She's just gonna win this lone wolf terror. Yeah, yeah just gotta kill twenty two enemies. How, how hard can it be? Jeez, that so is so many. I, all I had to do was make solid snake. Yeah. In solid you character. think that, that could have been difficult, but it could turned out to be really easy. Mm. Oh no, no gap under I'm there. Because really, I'm really good. There's at a little duct. Oh, oh yeah, look at that sweet duct. duct. All right, scan, boop, boop, boop. scanning, scanning. Oh, nitro cells there. Oh no, I forgot about nitro cells. They're bad. Can't forget about nitro cells. Oh. Scanning. And they, they don't even get enemy. marked up, apparently. Nope, they don't. Mother they that sure don't. forgot about nitro cells. Oh, let's not come in this room. It's mostly Seems like nitro a, yeah. cells. Oh, wow. That's okay. our nitro let's, cell storage room. Let's not go in there. They really don't want you in that they room. They sure do not. This looks massively destructible. This, yeah. is, this is a dining room, apparently. I mean... Yeah, Andy, we're in a it's training a, facility. It's a fake house, and yeah. this is the fake dining room. But those are real unlike virus. most training... Oh, scan him. Don't let him shoot you. No, no, no. Unlike most training, everything's extremely lethal. Scanning. 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 So this is the pretend bedroom. Master bedroom. Okay. <laughs> Scan. Oh, it's just these dumb oh, mannequins. Are... Oh, hello. I can see you. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I've only got two of these drones. Yeah. In the, what's this? The bathroom. The bathroom. Bathroom. Bath well, Heavily there's your guarded bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Like you're just crouching in a car park. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's three floors, this I reckon, is the pirate in this room. building. Yeah. Pirate room. Might yeah. even be four. Oh, look, it's Thought like it's the kids' bedroom. Room. Yeah. Pirate bed. Might as well reuse Good those assets center. from the suburban home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's oh, there's barbed wire. You son of a okay. barbed wire. Okay. So there's three, three floors? Whoa, oh, hello. hello. Hello there. Okay, hello, sir. So the regular guys tend to stay where they yeah, yeah, are yeah, scanned. Yeah. The, Not... the bombers wander around. See, it's not very sensitive, this scanning, because I can see there's a dude over there yeah. on the top floor. All right, fine. Okay, I'm going to pop this... Uh, I'm you didn't check the basement. That's true. All right, let's go down to the basement. Oh, no. Oh. Hello. What I would say is, also, having played this map, yeah. um, although they're all inside, once you kind of engage them, they will wander outside. So it yeah. might make sense to hang around outside for a bit. And yeah, draw them out. Draw some of them out. Yeah, yeah. maybe. All right, nice. let's have a look at this basement, though. Very nice. Stupid masks. Why are you even wear a mask? They're all in a room. Like, they're all in a building together with each other. They know each other's identity. Oh, they don't know each other's identity. Oh, Whoa. It's like they're the called the yeah. Dark Knight. They're called yeah. the White Mask. It's sort of their thing. Yeah, but yeah. it must be really uncomfortable. You think they'd take their masks off when they're like alone in private with each other? They should be allowed to like draw fun faces on them. Yeah. Yeah, just for fun. They, yeah. they just all draw that anonymous. Yeah, like, Keith, you're not bandit, taking yeah. this seriously yeah. enough, Keith. Just draw a He's fun drawn, face. He's like a funny rabbit yeah. on his on his thing. There's a guy. Oh, lots of in the oh, basement. There's always lots in the basement. Just. Rich with terrorists in the basement There's always money in the banana stand. There's a rich seam of terrorists down They've got their hoods up and masks on. They are really serious about this whole aesthetic. I, as a rule, like to start at the top of a building, work my way down advent calendar method, which is where you get to the top, rappel down, and then pop through a window. Well, the stairs are there. But as soon as you... as soon as you Oh, God, did he see me? No. You reckon? You could kill him? Yeah, kill him. I could. Yeah, but I'm going to show my hand, aren't I? Well, he's a bomber as well, so you want to get rid of him. Okay, hang on. He's gone to single shot. <laughs> no, he's I... taking a lot of bullets Yeah, to the I body. should not have gone to single shot. I thought I would just pop him in the head. There Apparently you go. not. There we go. Uh, I would switch back to burst Yeah, mode. I think you're right. I forgot that guns are not that lethal guns straight away. Oh, he's, 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 he's on the side. Oh, yeah, he's on the Okay, back. fine. He's Please on wander into my crosshair. Retreat to the car park. He's on the landing. He's coming down. He's coming down the stairs. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, just basically imagine that everyone in the building knows exactly where you are nice. now. So, okay. 
That's I a treat. Would move round. Oh, but I wanted to get on the roof. You can still do that. Just from a different But I place. would yeah. wait until all the ones who want to come outside for okay. a breath of fresh right. air or a smoke. Okay. Um, t- wait for them to come out and then shoot them. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Anyone else want to pop their head out? Get Anyone a breath else? of fresh air? Must be stuffy in there. Yeah. Wearing those masks. You could probably do with getting ventilated. Ah. In all senses. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm not, I don't want to go up those stairs. They seemed a bit hairy. Okay. Uh, I've got two two enemies down. Yes. And I am going to get up another way. I, if I, I could probably hop up those. No, tires. No. It's not platformer, Jane. It's not platformer. <laughs> I don't know what kind of range you've got with the thing, but you might be able to get up onto that. What? That second level. Yeah, you can jump up here and then yeah. onto the right. Hey. Hey. Okay. Shh, quietly now. Yes. All right, let's do this. Let's do this now. Come on, drone. And see what's behind here, Scope at least. Oh, oh that's no, <laughs> that's not a drone gap. Oh, no. That's just a regular gap. Foiled. Oh. Now, I'm going to pick a side of the building. Oh, right. It's all got fences. <laughs> Fine. I'm going to pick, pick this side, side of the building. building. <laughs> and I'm going to edge along till I get a window. Wait, no, hang on. I'm going to edge along here. Yeah. Let's just do this one. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to be upside down. You're going to be so surprised to see an upside down man with a No, I'm going to be the right way up. Otherwise, it will do my head in. So, can right. you melee that? Use my thing? sledge. Yeah. I don't think you need to use your sledge. I think you just melee this I these can. kind of boards. But why have I got a sledgehammer if I'm yeah. not going to melee? Oh, that's a good point. Okay. Sick. Come on then. Come on. Someone. No? Mm. They're not, you can enter. They're not too bothered about that, are they? No. Okay. All right, try a different window. Try a different window. Okay. They're all in the basement. I told you. They're in the basement party. They're all in the basement. Okay. Do this Let's one upside try down. Try this again. Do this one upside down. <laughs> no! Okay. And sledgehammer. Sledgehammer! Oh, 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 it's not a terrorist! What? Oh, no! What? Oh, what? Oh, there's a nitro thing! Oh, no! There was a nitro thing and it blew oh, up and then I blew up and oh. I got shot. No! Nitro, no! Dang! Man, well, that was hard. Brutal. Well. Two kills. Two out of 22. That is, that's grim. Okay. Fine. I guess, <laughs> I guess it's, it's quite hard. And I guess zombies are not necessarily easier either. <laughs> Back to the show. Now it's time to see what's been said in the YouTube comments and how the internet is reacting to brand new Overwatch hero, Brigitte. Another one. Why do we even need a new Overwatch hero? I am Brigitte Lindholm and I will be their shield. Oh my God, I love her. There it is. First up, please enjoy your comments on last week's show of the week about Soul Calibur 6, in which Andy was challenged to use the Soul Calibur 4 character creator to make a possible, though unlicensed, solid snake. And Jane, that's me, got carried away with Mario Odyssey's new balloon mode. But you know that thing where you've been playing so much of a game and you forget you're in real life? And Whose then you... birthday did he ruin? Well, I don't know, but I think they were five years old. Yeah. Five? Commenter Best Friends Forever Who Game is very understanding. They say, I can just see Jane crashing a five-year-old's birthday party and stealing all the balloons. It would teach the child an important lesson. Mm-hmm. Like, don't hold your birthday party near our studio. Important lesson. Yeah, I think the council sends out leaflets now. But um, my favourite thing, I think it was in Soul Calibur 2, yeah. was when you selected your character, um, they would have like a versus screen and they yeah. would like look at each other like this. Mm -hmm. And you could press one of the face buttons and they'd say something. And Raphael okay. was, uh, <laughs> he's the vampire fencer Do it. Okay. again. And he had one turn. which was just. Right, turn. <laughs> Versus Shang Hua. <laughs> Commenter Jeff Lam, meanwhile, thinks that a vampire fencer sounds like a risky career choice. All those wooden fence posts lying around is just an accident waiting to happen. But it's fine, we don't need Raphael anymore now that Andy has created the greatest Soul Calibur character ever, Solid Snake. <laughs> How do you like it? <laughs> you like this look? Oh yeah. Uh, 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 uh. As commenter Endymion Xanatos puts it, I feel that Andy's Solid Snake needs some kind of dance music. Hmm. Yes, that is much better. Moving on to some of the very fine comments on this video, which was about downloadable content that was ridiculous fan service, not that we were complaining. Downloadable Overwatch map Blizzard World asks the question, what if there were a Blizzard themed amusement park? The answer to which is, I would be broke, because I would have spent all my money there. Internet Enforcer, as on Corazana, is here to inform us that Blizzard World isn't DLC though. 
Is it not? It is content that I definitely remember downloading. You must have imagined it. Commenter Tiana Roberts is here to ask, have you guys heard about the most recent DLC costumes in Final Fantasy XV? You can literally explore Final Fantasy XV as a llama-themed superhero from The Sims or Gordon Freeman. It's probably the closest we will ever get to Half-Life 3. It is exactly how I imagined Half-Life 3, to be fair. Then commenter Platonis the Warlock has another suggestion. They say, greatest fan service from Xbox, outside extra. It's a shame that Luke was pre-order only bonus and Ellen DLC cost £60. Worth the money, but too short. Hey! Uh-oh. Anyway, onto your comments on this Far Cry 5 video in which Andy and Luke voyage to Hope County, Montana, where of course they met a bear called Cheeseburger. Hey Luke. Hey Andy. We're back in Far Cry 5 with our good friend Cheeseburger, Cheeseburger. the bear. Oh, and you know Cheeseburger. what? I've had enough of Luke. Is it? Is is it not petting Cheeseburger? It's bloody cult. Is oh what it is. yeah, they're the so worst. So what did you say? We go and do some cult stopping. I would love to do that. Can Cheeseburger come? A lot of people found this video very useful, such as commenter Adam McDuckum, who said, I've learned something very important from this. A cheeseburger is all you need to deal with a radicalized cult in your area, as long as that cheeseburger is a bear. Words to live by. Then again, Keyblade Master Katsu was less impressed, saying, I think from now on, if you look up overkill in a dictionary, you'll be referred to the one time when Andy and Luke murdered a wolf by shooting it 10 times, then running over it with an ATV. Okay, Wait, let me just run over it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Problem with solved. With our powers combined. <laughs> well, think twice next time, won't it? I mean, no. Okay, fine. How about this suggestion from commenter Hayley CH who says, this video, but every time Luke and Andy say cheeseburger, it gets faster. Oh yeah, that shouldn't take long. I'm sort of hungry for a cheeseburger now, so I'm gonna go. You alright to finish this bit on your own? I yeah. um Okay, bye! Uh so what's in the news this Hey, look over there. A little bit longer. <laughs> That's it for Show of the Week. Thanks for watching and remember that every click of the like button brings us one step closer to our goal of funding our high concept YouTube originals show, Auto Tune Andy. No, it doesn't. Why is this happening? What have you done? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Is this permanent? I was supposed to give a speech at my sister's wedding. Man, that sounds good. <sighs> Fine. How about my pitch for Extreme Rooftop Parkour featuring Andy? No. How about. Andy vs. Nature, Episode 1, Tigers. No. All right, uh, what about Andy attempts a backflip? No. Andy attempts two backflips? No. Why are these all me? Hey, we just haven't got to mine yet. Look, there's one down here. Mike test drives the new Aston Martin Vantage. Yeah, I'm going for lunch. Andy? Andy goes for lunch is pitch 97. Don't give it away for free.